WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of a very blustery, windy, rainy Delray Beach, Florida. But this is your 11 a.m. update, and we got most of the U.S. indices that we track and most of the sectors with inside the S&P 500 trading to the upside. The only one that is not are the transports. They're down about 67 points. We got the Dow up 14, flat. S&P's up uh, 10, basically flat. NASDAQ 54, three tenths percent. Russell's up five. Semis are up 10. I don't expect the markets to get too much uh, up or down until we get to that 2 to 3.30-ish time frame out there when Fed Powell uh, releases his uh, statement. But let's go try to figure out what you got. Gold right now up three bucks. Silver's off 12 cents. Lights recruit up 92 pennies. And natural gas up two cents, 30 treasury up 19 ticks. Print out at 120.02. Let's figure out what all that means by looking at that nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini upper left hand side. At this stage here, we're trading inside a swing point that takes us back into the July time frame. Is that the July? That's a July swing point. As long as price remains inside there, it may go tag that high. And that's at the 47.38.50 level. Especially with the spot volatility well below its 50-day exponential moving average. Spots at 12.21. The 50 days at 14.53. NQ, no topping patterns, no topping signals. Although I believe there's a wave number seven. No, on the NQ, there's not even a wave number seven pattern. It's got nothing other than a Rhodes Mintum indicator signal. So if we were to get a bearish reversal candle days on, that would confirm a top. U.S. dollar index uh, trading above the top of its daily profile. Not really sure what it wants to do. We know that if we do close the day above 103.80, we'll trigger an A to B equals CD to the upside. Goldilocks likely to form. We'll have to look at the charts. Likely to form, I believe it is bar number eight today of a TD9 count. And that's got potential to form a TD9 count uh, tomorrow. But uh, it's got to close below uh, bar number five. And I, I'm looking at this chart here. I can't figure out right off the top of my head which one that is. It should be. I think it's this one right here. So that would say you've got to close tomorrow below 2014.50. Silver's got the same kind of a pattern. Today's going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count pattern. So we may get a bottom between today and Friday inside of gold and silver. Lights recruit the same kind of scenario out there. Uh, it's going to or likely going to form a TD9 count bottom. We'll have to take a look at it during the show. Natural gas is going to complete its TD9 count. That should rally up towards the Sausage and Change line. We'll have to look at my charts on the other screen to figure out what that is. 30 year Treasury still just traded with inside its profile. It's got resistance up at one. 2010. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. We're going to drop this chart for Wednesday. Have a wonderful one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Everything in the universe 